Okay, finally, we're at the end of this series. This is part 10 called Our Protection. This series came out to be 10 parts, and the number 10 can be used for completion. So I, I, I praise God. I praise God right now that, that um, he made this into a 10-part series to complete it. That's amazing right there. Okay, this is called Our Protection. About four years ago, I was having a terrible time in my life. The demonic were infesting me. Um, I was very confused. I couldn't think. I couldn't remember wonderful things that God had been teaching me. And one night in particular was was worse than the other nights. One night in particular was absolutely terrible. I was sitting on my couch and I had tears in my eyes and I was being attacked by the demonic quite terribly. And and I was crying and I sat on my couch and I I said, Lord, there is no joy. There's no joy. There's no happiness. I mean, I, I hear these Christian songs talking about the joy and happiness in the Lord, and, and I never get any. There hasn't been any for me. I said, Lord, what about the good times? Uh, what about all of the other Christians that I hear from on the radio that are doing so well and and they feel happy and they're being fulfilled and 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 they feel complete? I haven't experienced that. I never experienced that. It sounds like it's fake. I said, Lord, it, it sounds like it's fake. It sounds like the joy is fake. It, it's not real. It doesn't really happen. And that's when a miracle happened. Jesus spoke to me. Not verbally. Um, I've never heard him I never heard him verbally with my ears. He spoke in my mind and in my heart, and it was real strong. Real, real strong. And he said to me, Garrett, you only get those wonderful things if you abide in me. When Jesus said that, he was standing over to the right of me, to the right of my couch. Now, I did not see him. I'm not saying I saw him. I've never seen him in my life. But he has the power to reveal to you that he's really there. In other words, even though he was invisible, he let me know right where he was standing. Once again, he said to me, Garrett, you only get those wonderful things by abiding in me. And that was the start. That, that, that was the night that things started to change in my life when he gave me this revelation. My brothers and sisters, listen. Jesus is our only victory. And there is no other way and there is no other victory coming, not now and not ever. God's Son is our only victory. Now, I didn't know I had to abide in the Lord. I didn't know how to get rid of the sadness and loneliness and depression. I had no idea. I listened to Christian radio, and they didn't talk about this stuff. They didn't talk about casting the demonic out. They didn't talk about watching what we think about. And they surely didn't talk about how to abide in the Lord. This is part 10. This is called our protection. Just like Jesus said, we only get that joy and that peace and that love and some happiness and some fulfillment when we're abiding in the Lord.
Now, we can also get those wonderful um, things when we read the Bible. Now, reading the Bible is the same as abiding in the Lord. Jesus is the Word of God, and the Bible is the Word of God. Jesus is the Bible. The Bible's alive. So, when I, when, I, when I talk about abiding in the Lord in this audio or any future audios, that always automatically also includes studying the Bible. People, we're only going to get joy by reading the Bible and abiding in Jesus. This is when, when we do that, that is when God gives us a spirit of joy. Only by abiding in Jesus day and night can we expect to get some happiness in our heart and soul. Only by abiding in Jesus can we expect to feel that wonderful peace. Maybe you, just like me, have been wondering, where is the joy? I've never felt any joy. I've been walking with the Lord for two years, or, or maybe five years, or maybe, maybe seven years, and I've never felt this joy. Well, we're not feeling the joy because we're not abiding in the Lord and His Bible. Now I want to finish up this entire series, this ten-part series, by saying this. You could abide in the Lord day and night the very best you can. But if you're still thinking sad thoughts, if you're still thinking lonely thoughts, if you're still thinking depressing thoughts, you are going to feel sad and lonely and depressed. So, our victory is in our Christ, in the Anointed One, in God's Son, the Messiah, Jesus. And we must be abiding in Him to get these wonderful attributes of the Spirit of Joy and a Spirit of Peace and some happiness and feeling content. Jesus is our only victory and we only gain the victory when we're abiding in the Lord. Please, practice abiding in the Lord from the time you wake up until the time you go to bed while you're doing your spiritual warfare and casting out all bad thoughts, casting out all bad imaginations, and casting out all bad spirits that might come to you. Gain your victory because Jesus is our victory. Once again, I pray that Jesus will rain down his love into your heart and soul right now. I pray Jesus will light a fire inside of you, a real fire to abide in him. I pray, Jesus, give them a fire to abide in you. Thank you, Lord, for these wonderful, wonderful audios. Thank you for teaching us these things. And thank you for, for loving us enough to want to set us free from the sadness, loneliness, and depression. You are incredible, Jesus. Amen. I love you guys.